Wild About You, written by Judy Sierra, pictures by Mark Brown. Who's new at the zoo? Brand new babies, that's who. Some popped from their mamas, some hatched out of eggs, some walked right away on their long, wobbly legs. Some babies are fluffy, some babies are hairless, some babies are shy, oops, some are quite careless. They wander away and get lost in the zoo, and their mamas and papas can't find them. Can you? This just isn't fair, said the tree kangaroo. All my neighbors have babies, and I want one too. So do we, moaned the pandas. We're black, white, and blue. Left. Babies are awful, the crocodile told them. They bite and they scratch and they howl when you hold them. They won't do a thing that you want them to do. And on top of all that, they make mountains of poo. May we have your babies? The pandas asked sweetly. No, no, cried their parents. We love them completely. Grrr, grumbled the pandas. It's so hard to wait. Then a big orange van rumbles through the zoo gate. And the sign on the van made their eyes open wide. Do you think there's a cub or a joey inside? They rushed to the van and they peeked in the door. On the floor lay a little brown box, nothing more. This egg is endangered, the zoo vet explained. Who would adopt it? I can't, croaked the crane. It's too small, hissed the ostrich. It's too big, squawked the auk. I haven't any space in my nest, screeched the hawk. The tree kangaroo scrambles forward to snatch it. She said, I have room in my pouch. I will hatch it. No matter what kind of a bird it might be, it can live in my tree and sing sweetly to me. She kept the egg cozy for week after week till she heard the tap-tap of her new baby's beak. I've hatched out a penguin, she said. Oh, my word, I wasn't expecting this sort of a bird. Penguins don't fly. Penguins never sing sweetly. But that doesn't matter. I love you completely. Yes, you are the answer to all of my wishes, though I may need some help because penguins eat fishes. So the puffins delivered fresh fish every day. The flamingos invited her over to play. And one happy day, she hopped her first hop, a super sensational Pingaroo bop. Then she shouted, Hey, Mom, I want back in my pouchy. The pandas, of course, were still gloomy and grouchy. They rolled on the ground, groaning, La and boo hoo. Then beneath the bamboo, they heard someone say, Mew. And the kitten jumped onto Miss Panda's wide lap, picked a comfortable spot, and curled up for a nap. What a curious cub, Mr. Panda declared. You're a kind of a sort of a cat of a bear. You're roly, you're poly, you're quite pendalicious. Yes, 
You are the answer to all our wildest wishes. The tiger stopped by with fresh milk every day. The meerkats invited him over to play. They snoozed in the shade of the kangaroo's tree and all were as happy as happy could be. If you're looking for babies much newer than new, here's a cool panda cat, here's a sweet pingaroo. Every kid needs a family, we know that it's true, and to bring up a baby, it takes a whole zoo. Hello friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. If you did, please click like and share this book with your friends. And don't forget to look for all the other books by Storytime with Lorelei. See you next time. Bye for now.